Alright guys, so tonight I'm doing a Asian inspired dish that is uh, a pork noodle bowl. So it's one meal in a bowl, quick and easy. Uh, and I consider this a dinner bowl, but you could you always do it for lunch and I guess if you're feeling frisky, maybe for breakfast. So uh, I'm just going to give you a quick ingredient list and a how to and then I'll put the recipe below and we'll go from there. I hope y'all enjoy. Let's get started. I'm here to give you my favorite dinner bowl. We are doing a pork broccoli bowl, which is going to be amazing. It is kind of like a Japanese Asian inspired meal, but we're doing it on the super healthy side. So uh, among many of the ingredients that they usually use, I'm going to use the alternative instead of soy sauce. I'm going to use Bragg's Liquid Aminos. Um, there's also a really good one called um, Coconut or Cocoa Aminos, and they both have different tastes, so you really have to decide for yourself which one you prefer. Um, they both are a little different, but they have about a tenth of the sodium that soy sauce has. Even soy sauce that has low sodium is about half the dose that you should get in a day. So keep that in mind when you're cooking. Um, this is a brilliant alternative and I promise you after a few times it tastes so much like it. It's the health benefits are worth the difference in a little bit of flavor. So um, I've got some pork that is just cooked um, I sauteed it just to get a little crispy on the outside and then I finished it in the oven. I've got some broccoli for florets, um, some julienne carrots, some um, minced garlic, and of course my Asian noodles. Um, this is more of like a pad thai style. And then I've got some white onion with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil in the pan on low so that we can get started quickly and my dog just took off with like probably something I was supposed to have in my recipe but um anyway this is gonna be quick and easy and simple and delicious and I hope y'all love it so let's get started. okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start our first bowl and we're just gonna do um some udon noodles which are American traditional, if you look it up, are also similar to um, a sobu or a whole grain rice noodle. Uh, the, the ingredients differ very, very minimally, so you definitely want to look that up. If you can't find one in a store, you can definitely replace it with another very easily. The flavor is very similar. So I've got this on low. I've got a little bit of diced onion and some extra virgin olive oil and I'm going to go ahead and add um, the pork which is probably just a cup worth. It's just, well it's two of us eating and my daughter. So and she's young. This is a really good portion. We're good with leftovers but um, tonight I'm really trying to just make it where we can finish it off. I'm trying to clean out the fridge and just kind of like restart new with our monthly grocery shopping. So um, I don't want to overdo it. So we're like at a low medium. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of the carrot and a little bit of the broccoli. Now these are not pre-cooked. Um, the broccoli was frozen and I didn't have any fresh so I just thawed it. So it won't take long to cook. Um, I prefer to do the garlic at the end. It tends to burn really quickly and then it gives it a bad flavor. So um, I'm going to go ahead again and take that Bragg liquid amino, which is the natural closest alternative to soy sauce um, with way less sodium. And we're just going to barely, barely put some in. Maybe like a half a tablespoon. And just kind of let that go. Mm 
and this process is probably just three or four minutes. Uh, this dinner can be completely done in less than 20 minutes, and it's super healthy. It's got all the whole foods that your family needs, and kids, adults, everyone likes it. So it's definitely a win-win for the family dinner. And a lot of this you can prepare, like I tell you, you pre-prep it. So the night before, if you happen to be doing something, I always say, like, if you're doing something with any of the ingredients that you plan to make with tomorrow's dish, prep a little extra. So you just cut a few extra broccoli and wash them, or um, julienne, or spiralize a few extra carrots. If you're using garlic, go ahead and take a few extra bulbs and dice them, crush them. Um, the noodles only take about six to eight minutes. So you're looking at a delicious whole food meal for your family in less than 20 minutes. And I consider that amazing. Um, not only that, but this is not expensive to make either. So you guys really need to look at the list below that I'm going to put for the video. Um, I usually buy what's on sale that week, so I don't just decide, oh, this week we're having this. I look at the ads, and then I decide from those ads what's on sale. I know my recipes that I like to use, and then that's what we have that week. And then the next week, when something else is on sale, then I use those recipes, and we do that that week. Um, there's no point in paying full price if you're going to be using it in the next two or three days than to buy a product that might be going bad in a week. Um, I'm all about saving money and simple and delicious, fresh, organic is my deal. So uh, this is all warm now. I'm going to go ahead and add a little more carrot and then we'll go ahead and add some garlic and the rest of the broccoli and then a little bit of the alternative soy sauce which like I said I've got the uh, liquid aminos by Bragg's here tonight there's also a coconut amino which is really really good um, they just have a little bit of a different flavor so you just gotta pick the one that you like the best try them both and then see you know see what your taste buds prefer so we're just gonna do like a tablespoon or two in there and I'm going to let that simmer for a minute and then we'll be back and I'll show you the rest of how we do this. We've got all the vegetables ready and they are just lightly stir fried with a little bit of the Bragg's liquid aminos. Um, you can at this point add a little bit of garlic salt or pepper if you'd like. Um, there's plenty of salt even with the low sodium that this is so I'm not going to do that but you guys, you know, what, however your tastes prefer. And I'm going to go ahead and grab a spoon and got my noodles and I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit of each of this over the top. And I'm telling you, this is so simple and so delicious. It's all the whole foods you need in a meal. Your whole family will love it. It's definitely plenty for three and if I had just added a little bit more we could totally do it for four which is usually what's here but my son's having a sleepover so but these are full bowls a whole meal it's got your vegetable your protein your dairy um, your you've got let's see um, the udon so You've covered every single part of your pyramid that you have to to make a whole meal. And um, I have to say, I love Asian, Chinese, Japanese, any kind of influential food, but uh, sometimes it can be so full of sodium that it kind of takes out the healthy version of it and um, makes it where it can actually be detrimental to whatever you've been eating for the rest of the day. So um, this is just my healthy version. I hope you guys enjoy it. And of course, if you enjoyed it, click that red subscribe button below. And I can't wait to see y'all again. I hope you check out the rest of my videos and comment if you have anything you'd like to see or if you have any tips or tricks for me. And other than that, I can't wait to see you guys again soon.